Hold up. This isn't some cheesy kid show. This is Kids in the Tank, a young perspective on business from high school students. Welcome to Kids in the Tank. I'm Maddie, and with me in the tank are Felipe and Caitlin. Today we are honored to have my grandfather, Ralph Freitag, in the studio with us. Ralph is a former CEO, president, and chairman of the board at Gander Mountain, and most recently, CEO and chairman of board for CSR Incorporated. Ralph, you are officially in the hot seat. Cool. Bring it on. <laughs> Thanks for making the trip in from Austin. Was there a specific reason Austin was where you picked to make home during retirement? Uh, yes. Uh, originally, I left Wisconsin in 2005 and moved to Florida and then Florida to Texas. As you can see, both those are warm weather states and I was tired of the cold Midwest. So, <laughs> And the other thing is for Texas and Florida is neither one has sta state income tax. Have you ever been or considering being a entering um, capitalist? Interim, I am doing that currently. I've been, I'm a capitalist because I invested in a company uh, recently in Texas. And so, yes, I have and I am. Well, have you, you have owned very many businesses, as we heard. Which one of them was your favorite and which one was your least favorite and why? Well, Taco Bell was my favorite because <laughs> it was the, uh, it was most positive cash flow company. So in other words, it was the most profitable and it was a lot of t fun because I didn't have the hard job of running the restaurants day to day. And the least favorite was probably uh, uh, Edelman, the cleaners, because that was a very difficult business. Okay. Okay. Because dad told me, <laughs> I know that you're involved in making the private company Gander Mountain go public. Um, what were the pros and cons in your opinion of that process? Well, the pros were, uh, to be able to raise money, which is capital, to grow the company at that particular time that we went public. So it was very beneficial to be able to do a number of things and growth for, for the company. Um, and the second part of your question was? Oh, just what were the pros and cons no, of the, the process? Cons, that's a pro. And the con uh, um, is that you are now in the public eye because, from the standpoint that you have uh, shareholders and you have to report to them every quarter, every uh, year. And uh, you have to have a shareholders meeting to have them continue to support you and what you want to do. Thank you. You're welcome. What was your biggest failure and in your career and what did you learn from it? Biggest failure in my career was probably the uh, some of the little companies we invested in that were not in our line of business. Like I said, the pe a pizza company, a sandwich company, and it was totally out of the realm of what we knew at that particular point, so I learned that that's when I said, and I emphasize, is do one thing and do it well. That is true. Next. Okay, so if someone's looking to buy a large business, they obviously wouldn't have the kind of money to go out and do so. Do you have any tips on how one could generate the funds to buy a large business? Well, there are many opportunities. Uh, as I said previously, is finding the opportunity is the biggest difficulty investing and buying it is in my opinion now in this day and age the easiest but there are a number of private investors meaning individuals and companies that do private investment there are venture capitalists that will invest in companies you can uh, depends on what type of company it is and if it has a lot of assets you can use banks so there are just a number of alternatives so it's really dictated from my standpoint as of what kind of company you have and what is the capital structure going to be of what kind of financing you do. Not a problem. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you for answering our questions. Uh, we will now be moving into our next segment, which is called Flip It, and you will be asking us the questions. Okay, so, Caitlin. Yes. Where are you going to college? I do not know yet. I am a junior. Oh, okay. But... <laughs> I would like to be close to home because me personally, I get homesick and all, all the easy stuff is home where I know it. So I would like to stay where it would be easiest for me, which is closest to home. What, at this point, in your, what would you think you'd like to study? What would you like to do? I'm not 100% sure, but I very, I'm very interested in the medical field. I like to help people and make people feel better. Great. Nice. Maddie, same question for you. Uh, well, right now I'm looking at same as Caitlin, 
uh, colleges that are close to home. So all of the ones that I've applied to so far are in Wisconsin, except for one. And then I want to study graphic design and photography. Felipe? Uh, I think I'm going to go to Platteville. Okay. Because I want to study programming and computer science. Great. And do you know what for any particular type of industry? Mm, not really. Okay. So where, uh, any one of you can answer this in any particular order, where would you like to be in five years, ten years? Um, or doing what? Five to ten years, I would like to see myself in a hospital, I'd like to own my own house, possibly ten years, and start family, and then just be as successful as I possibly can, to cool. be as happy as I possibly can. Maddie? Yeah, I probably the same start a family at some point maybe not that soon because i'll only be 28 maybe maybe <laughs> i will and then yeah i guess just to continue learning and growing i really want to travel so me anywhere too. that that could take me i guess yeah travel, travel really where to the uh, united states or internationally yeah, i'd say both i'd like to travel internationally for photography because i've been interested <clears throat> in working with national geographic although that's kind of a big goal but like You'd have to go international and abroad for that, so that would be fun. I would like to see me in five years, like in a company, maybe making games, making software. Oh, now we boil it down what your interest is. Okay, so making games and so software for games. Yep. Mostly. Cool. All right, well, what's been your big, biggest disappointment about high school? <laughs> Anyone? Felipe, uh, we'll start with you. I think not getting involved more, like in sports and all that. Well, it's never too late. You can do yeah. that in college. It all depends what it is. Maddie? I don't know. I don't really have any disciplines. You don't really? I, I feel like I've taken advantage of as many opportunities as I could, and I've worked really hard. I guess I could say I wish I worked harder, but other than that, I don't really have any. For me, it would probably be... I just started getting involved this year. I wish I would have started doing it more before because it's actually really fun and it is great for future stuff and helping you get more in depth in the things to know what you like and what you don't like. Well, it's never too late, as I said a number of times before. Yes. And uh, high school and college are the best best four years each, eight years of your life. So enjoy it. Don't you know, look, look forward and what you want to do and all the things that are available. And wherever you go to college, they're going to have a lot of opportunities, so so uh, pursue it. So anyway, as far as uh, in life, I mean, where does marriage rank on your agenda and time? I think uh, marriage ends, like, well, no. My agenda, like, get married, like, after I get in a company or somewhere stable. Working? Yep. Yep. Yeah. I'd have to agree, probably, once I feel financially stable, at least, and then once I'm ready to settle down, too. I don't want to settle down too soon, not be able to go out and still do things and travel. Yeah. Because once you have a family, you kind of need to settle down. Yeah. Uh, I agree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's interesting because all of you, uh, and you said when, you, that's, to me, it's all dependent on who you find. Mm -hmm. I agree that's, with that, too. Yeah, okay. True. Well, and what about where you'd like to live, locale? Mm -hmm. Any, now you said you'd like to stay close to home, Kayla? Yeah, yes, for right for right now. I don't think uh, I'm, I'd be able to move so far away. But in the future, I can see myself more of like a... I'd like to go somewhere else, for sure. I don't want to stay in this town. I want, I want to see more. I want to travel, like yeah, Maddie said. I agree. See what I like. Maybe, maybe not even in America. Maybe... Maybe Wherever. someplace else. Someplace else. Yes. Felipe. Uh, I think I would stay around home because this is where I grew up. This is where my whole life I've been. Where you know everything. Yeah. Where it's easy. Don't be afraid to be venturesome. I mean, and that, that will come to uh, with time. So, uh, so have, all, have all of you taken all the courses that you want in high school or did you kind of take the easy way? Um, I, oh, you can go, Felipe. <laughs> you can go. Well, I don't know. Freshman and sophomore year, we didn't have as much choice as yeah. I would have liked. But this year, finally starting to be able to choose more of the classes that I would like. And so far, it it's nice to choose to see what I really like. And, yeah, it's just good to have choice, more choice, more options. Yeah. I've taken 
as many courses as I could fit in with what I while trying to do what I like, which is art. And I still wish I could take more. There's so much that I'd love to study and like learn about, but there's only so many opportunities to do so. So it's kind of hard, but I've taken as many as I can. I have taken the classes I wanted to take and all that. So good. Where about what about your parents? How have they have they been supportive of what you want to do and where you want to go to school? It's your decision or they want to be instrumental in assisting you in your decision? It's my decision. Like um like they support me and all that. They say whatever you want to do, but just get a master or a uh, degree. Advanced degree? Yeah. Uh, for me, my parents are very supportive. They really, really want me to go to college. They want me to do better than what they did because they never went to college. And But, yes, they're very supportive. And they don't really tell me where I should go, but they just want, I guess, well, they want to be able to afford it for me. So they want to help me out and stuff. Well, you probably know. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. My parents, yeah, they've been really supportive. And I've done most of the process on my own because so much has changed since when they went to college. But in everything I've done, they've always been willing to take me on, like, tour visits of colleges or, like, look into the costs or ways I could get scholarships, just anything to help me out and to help me, like, proceed forward in the direction I want to go. Do you want to do extracurricular things in college? Um, I think it's, if I would like to go to medical, then I don't know, like sports and other things like that would be a little too much, but maybe going out of my way to get more involved in the college, like an ambassador or something, or like mm -hmm. student council if they have it or something like that, it'd be interesting to be in. Have you, uh, you haven't picked a college yet, you're a junior, but where are you yeah. thinking? Um, I, Milwaukee is one for me. UWM? And, yeah, sure. and Green Bay cool. are very... Nice top in my list, I would say. <laughs> so I want to hear Maddie's choice. <laughs> I haven't decided yet, okay. but there's like four or five schools I've applied to, so. She's copping out. Lupe, <laughs> you get Platteville, you already said that. Yep, so you're... Platteville. Okay, Platteville. Well, great. Any other questions for me? No, I just have to say thank you so much for joining us in the studio, and we appreciate your insight. Yeah, well, I appreciate your questions, and you're a great audience, and I suspect all of you will do very well. Keep a very open mind to, as I said in there, you will sense there are opportunities that will come about in whatever you're doing and what you can do uh, to take advantage of them. And don't be afraid to work overtime. Do things on your own. Get it done. Don't take the easy way because uh, hard work will be... People notice that as the people you're working with, they will notice that. They, they may be walking around just with a cup of coffee, but they realize <laughs> who's doing what. So Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much. Right. You're welcome. welcome. Thank you. A quick shout out to Ralph for being our guest on Kids in the Tank. Before we continue with our last segment, the round table, here's a word from our sponsors. We would like to thank our sponsors because without this, we wouldn't have as much as we could and be able to afford everything that we have. Yes. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate much. you a lot. Yes. Prestige Paints is changing the way you buy paint. We're the number one selling brand of interior and exterior paint on Amazon.com. And with the help of our app, Prestige Color Pick, we're making paint buying a whole lot easier. With the app, you can take a picture of your wall and then virtually paint it with any of our 2,400 plus colors. And now you can try our competitors' colors on your walls too. Once you find the color you love, you can purchase it from Amazon right through the app, saving yourself a trip to the store. Prestige Color Pick is free and available through the App Store and Google Play. Live colorfully and design your life with Prestige. Hi, this is Mike Butler with Elkhorn Chemical and Packaging. We've been in business for 65 years. We're located in Wisconsin. We represent the janitorial, packaging, safety, and maintenance categories. We sell to small businesses all the way to large corporations. So, if you're in need of a cleanup in aisle 9, give us a call at 800-377-3556 or check us out at elkhornchemical.com. Welcome back to Kids in the Tank. We are now entering our third and final segment, The Roundtable, where we will be talking about today's hot topics and trends. Okay, so trick-or-treating, how old is too old? 
I think around 20. <laughs> 20? 20? 20? I was thinking 20? more of like 15. Yeah. But, oh, <laughs> last, year, oh. last year, I stopped, oh. I stopped doing it, and it was kind of just like, you know, should I keep going or not? Or when it was like, you know, you get your manhood. <laughs> yeah. Kinda. I, I mean, if you're wearing a mask, you. nobody knows how old you are. That's true. Yeah, that, that, so, is, that is true. Never but yourself. At the same time, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, what kind of what kind of candy like do you get when you're old? Do you get like different kinds of candy? Cause like you you age, you know. Like, I don't know. When I was younger, like I got like Kit Kats, and then like recently I began like apples. But like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. What? I used to have a neighbor that handed out uh, toothbrushes and toothpaste because they were dentists. Yeah. So that was oh, the worst no. house to go to. I don't I don't know. My favorite when I was little was like always getting those little Oreos, and then like lately they've kind of come out with like this new mystery flavor. I don't yeah. know if you guys have heard of it, what, what but is it? oh my, it's a it's a fruity pebble, uh, fruity pebble, oh. and it's got like a, I think a white filling on the end. I don't think they have any other kind, but they're like miniature, and then they have big. Um, I don't know. It's just like a test right now. I don't know. Are they out? Like actually? No, no, no. I think they're still oh. in the testing, but they're coming out soon. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Never heard of it. I don't um, think I'll no, try them. I have not. I not they they they've come out with so many. I think they have caramel apple too, Ooh, that's, and that's, that's not pretty sound gross. Good. Yeah, that's that sounds really uh, gross. They usually oh. have seasonal ones. Uh. Yeah, that's, fruity, that's, that's what season like is fruity pebble or something like that. <laughs> it's fruity pebble season. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know what season. Uh, Speaking of season, do you watch Riverdale? No. At all? No. Does anyone watch Riverdale? I am no. no I'm not interested in that at all. No. But I heard about what they're doing. Um, they're turning Netflix Riverdale into an actual TV show. On live cable, I know it's gonna be nice. pretty so now cool. We'll watch pretty cool. Yeah, I might now watch it. <laughs> now you have to. You know, I don't have that eleven dollars a month for uh, oh. Netflix. Like some privileged people I know. I like, don't have Netflix. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. I, I was just maybe thinking. Over. Yeah. Um, Talking about events, wh what about the Facebook events? No, oh, and Yoy? Gosh. Is that uh, a SpongeBob? I, yeah. I feel like that's so. Flash mob kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that SpongeBob episode. And that kind of ruined it for me. But oh, yeah, I thought yeah. that was pretty pretty out there. I've, yeah. seen, I've seen a little more interesting things before, but that was that was pretty out there. What do you think, Felipe? Yeah. Well, yeah. That episode. It was kind of weird, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Was, like the, yeah. uh, life drawing coming <laughs> to life. Uh, I don't know. I I like Doodle Bob. Yeah. yeah, I wish they had SpongeBob <laughs> on Netflix. Well, or you could go to the movies uh, to see SpongeBob. Do they have a SpongeBob? Movie? They have a SpongeBob. They, they had, had a SpongeBob movie. Yeah, yeah they yes, did. I'm um, pretty sure they did. It was so really would you good. prefer going to the movies or watching it on Netflix? Uh, I vote Netflix because I can rewatch it and watch it however many times I want in the, the comfort. That of ruins my the experience, hundred <laughs> percent. You it's, go to the movies, you know, you're not gonna forget it. Next week, you could be like, "Oh, what I watch on Netflix." But if you go to like, you know, get the buttered popcorn, you get the experience. You know, they have buttered popcorn but at so home. No, if, what if, do you mean? I know affordable movie theaters. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, if I'm if I'm gonna be that confused on what I watch on Netflix, I could go back and watch it in my recently watched <laughs> bar on Netflix because it it has that. Which, oh, like but are you able to watch advantage. Netflix with all the homework you have? There's a lot of homework in school. I can oh, watch oh the most. Oh my gosh. It's too much. It's too it much. so much. Especially junior year coming around. You know, this oh, is like yeah. a big year for scholarships yes. and stuff yep. like that. It's your year to get involved. Some yes. some some girls might have senioritis this year. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, junior year. Don't pretty, take AP calculus. Pretty, oh, oh, thanks, thanks for the heads up. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I always get sidetracked with my homework, and I usually uh, like go on my phone and stuff. And um, I don't know. I was looking for like the new yeah. like emoji updates 239 new emojis did they come up do you know of, like what they are or is it with the one is a you said one, one was yeah, yeah there's a thing. swearing one you know Oh really? Don't yeah. they already have it? Yeah. No, no, no. no there's a, like, there's different one ones. Specifically, they're for specifically. Swearing. Yeah, they're trying okay. to get more, you know, advanced uh, emojis now. Yeah. Huh. Um, they, they never had a skateboarding emoji, but they should they probably add that. Do they? In the two hundred and thirty-nine more. They should. New they ones should. They, they might be. I mean, you know. Yeah. We, yeah. we, we don't know yet. Yeah. No. They're coming out candy. soon. Uh, emojis are deceiving. The candy emojis, very colorful candy emojis, can be deceiving because. Sometimes they don't look as good as they are. 
Or like, oh you my god. You tasted any before? Like, yeah, yes. They, put <laughs> they might look good in pictures. Small amount of candy in those little boxes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or even worse, when you get Lay's. Chips. And, and it three fourths up. air. Yes. That is exactly like what's going on right now. Yes. With, with candy boxes. Yeah. York there, Peppermint Patty. Um, there's this lady suing uh, really? York right now yeah. over the even size. Though, yeah. Even though every basically every company, chips, yeah. everything does it. Yeah. Had to I point know. out but that like, specific hey, brand. Hey, hey, there's worse things. There's worse things that could happen. Like, I don't know, natural disasters? Um, Have you seen oh the hurricanes God. lately? Oh, you should so not be many. worried about and New York Pair Up and Man Patty. You should be more worried about, you know, California wildfires. Wildfires, yes. Yeah, oh, my gosh. Like, that is crazy. That is crazy. Or like the hurricanes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. See, yeah. It's getting to be more and more popular. Yeah. This earth. We need to do something about it. Maybe yeah. stop producing so much pollution, making the candies that people care so much about, which is causing the climate effect. Yeah, but more, 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 candy, more candy equals uh, more natural disasters. Exactly. And more social exactly. media posts because you can advertise your candy. Um, but is, it, talk about is that beneficial? Is that beneficial? Is, is so, it? I think, I so. think I it think, can be and can't be. I think social media is just a really great way of advertising your business now well, like there's instagram models there's like it's oh, a yeah. whole like but there's networking. like a certain point where it's like tmi it can, i don't yeah, need to know about much, your like freaking uh i don't know uh <laughs> you know your new makeup tutorial or like if you got little <laughs> nose hair extensions nose hair yeah extensions. they have those my now mom, my mom told me about that oh the other morning gosh. and i don't i didn't believe her until i saw this what? and why would you need nose hair extensions? Aren't they long? People have trimmers. Yeah, you trim their nose spiders. hair. Spiders. The yeah, other way you got around. spiders hanging outside your nose. Some yeah. people like it. Everyone's different. Kayla, are you going to jump on that bandwagon? Yeah, actually, right after I get back from here, I'm going to go buy some. So oh, thanks okay. for judging me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. We didn't. Yeah, we Next thing judging. you know, you might have like a tattoo you know, on your eyeball. When, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. They do that. When? No. Yes, they no. do. Eyeball tattoos? No. I would never get an I've eyeball I've seen the tattoo. lip tattoos, and I thought that was a little yeah, too tough. much. Sometimes, usually, you might be uh, under intoxication when you get these. Um, <laughs> under, <laughs> under what? Like under um, intoxication. Under alcohol. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. You might be intoxicated. That's when most tattoos happen, is when you're under... That's true. Yeah, and that would probably be when Trouble an bag. eyeball tattoo happens. Eyeball tattoos. Yeah, <laughs> Are they those... talking, like, on your eyeball or of it? No, eyeball? like, no. literally eyeball. Oh, literally, like... On your cornea. Which I don't know how it works, but <laughs> yeah. it works. Wouldn't that wouldn't you, wouldn't you go blind, possibly? No, it would no, hurt, no, actually. No, no. It's, yeah, it it's would, totally it would fine. very much hurt. I don't know. Sometimes tattoos lead you on the bad road. You know what Speaking I mean? Speaking of which, Logan Paul got arrested. Who? Logan Paul. Wasn't he a Viner? Like a famous yeah. Viner? Yeah. I, I liked all of his, his Vines. You know I why was he was an avid, avid follower. I think it was from um, yeah. a drone shot in Italy. Oh, Italy? drone shot. He was in Italy? In he, drone? he was. Drone, uh, drones get you in a lot did of he, trouble. Yeah. Did he take a picture of something like that he was supposed to, I'm guessing? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I if you like, was like following... Oh, is this like a drone restricted area? Well, I mean, yeah. like, if there's private oh, there's private property and then you fly over, I mean, that's, that's just kind of like, you know, gets outside your your area. I mean, they have like beware of yeah, dogs and stuff. Space. But, yeah, I mean, if you get inside someone's space, you know, that could kind of harmful or get you arrested in Italy. Apparently. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, thank you for listening to Kids in the Tank. Make sure to tune in next week for our new guest, Chuck Powell from Amazon.com. A one, a two, a three. Bazinga! Woo! Woo! To learn more about BizTank and this podcast, check out our website at GenevaSupply.com backslash BizTank or head over to our Facebook pages.